Stop ruining your footage. <laughs> We spent thousands and thousands on our camera gear from camera bodies, microphones, lights, lenses. So why would you skimp on what you put in front of your lens? I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. Have a look at these side by side comparisons and you're going to be absolutely shocked at the results. Okay, have a look at this. This is the Freewell filter. And look what it's doing there. So this is at 16 mil. What the hell? And if you obviously zoom past it, it's still in that corner. It's terrible. So if you're not absolutely alarmed by now, then you should be because a lot of you guys have extremely cheap and nasty filters in your camera kit and they should not be in there. So as you can see in the footage, the Nisi just kills it. It's pretty much just like if you don't have a filter on there at all, whereas the Freewell system, you can see a really warm color cast. And that's just something you don't need to deal with in post or while you're shooting or another thing to have to deal with. Now, as you can see with the comparison, the Nisi filter is pretty similar to if you don't have a filter on your camera at all, which shows how true the colors are. Whereas a Freewell system, uh, it looks a bit warm. It looks very warm and it doesn't look very nice. And I really just don't think that's acceptable for, you know, considering the marketing around this product as well. If I told you to put a nasty little piece of plastic over your camera sensor, would you do it? Absolutely not. That's exactly what you're doing by putting a cheap and nasty filter on your lens. You're pretty much compromising your camera quality, all that money you paid for all your gear and your lenses, just by putting a nasty filter on there. We fuss and we debate about which camera is better, which lens is better, which, you know, do we need a G Master lens or just a standard lens, which is better quality? And then people go and spend, you know, ridiculously cheap amount of money on filters and just chuck them on there willy nilly and they don't care. I don't get it. So the color cast on the Freewell filters are actually really quite disturbing and it's disturbing because a lot of people own these filters and they don't really realize the color cast until you compare it to a quality filter like Nisi. Now I'm just gonna put it out there, I couldn't care less whether you buy a Nisi filter or a Freewell filter. I'm doing these comparisons for you guys because I'm really sick of seeing people, you know, put blood, sweat and tears and money into their camera gear and then just go and throw on nasty filters on their lenses and get terrible results. Now some people will say, oh, just white balance to get rid of the colors or whatever. Uh, that's just a band-aid solution. That's not a proper solution to the problem. Just buy proper filters is a solution to the problem. But if you're taking your filters on and off inside and outside, you're gonna have to re-white balance every time. Um, it's just, it's not practical. Also, I'm very aware of uh, hard stop ND filters are much more accurate with color than the variable ND type. Uh, but if you haven't experienced Nisi's variable ND, this is so true to color, it's ridiculous. Now some filter companies may seem more convenient with a magnetic style situation that they have going on there. And it sounds pretty cool. I must say when I saw it, I was like, wow, I've got to get into this. But once you start using them, they do get really quite cumbersome. Now Freewell in particular have this inner base that you have to put in and then you load on filters on top of that. Now there's one problem with this already and that's stacking filters which isn't ideal. The more glass you're putting on top of your lens, 
is not ideal to me. I just really don't like stacking unnecessary glass in front of my lens. Once again, you're running into the problem of just putting glass on your lens for the sake of what? Also with the Freewell system, you have the base and then you have the ND, whether it's the two to five or whatever it is in the six to 10. Um, and those two pieces come apart. So my biggest problem with filters already is fluff and dust and shit that gets on there. So if you've got, you pretty much got another four pieces of glass that have to be cleaned as opposed to two, which in my situation is just, my OCD is gonna freak out because I'm constantly cleaning filters, making sure there's no dust particles on there. If you have to be cleaning both sides, that ain't convenient. Also looking at the Freewell system for it to be convenient for me, I was hoping I'd be able to flick from, you know, variable ND to polarizer fairly quickly. And I thought, wow, this is gonna be a really cool solution for me because that's what I kind of need to do very quickly. Uh, but it turns out what you actually need to do is take that VND base out, which is kind of fiddly because you've got to get your finger in there and flick it out and you're always gonna mark the glass, just to tell you right now. So once you've got that out, you've got to put that somewhere and then you've got to put another piece of glass on anyway. So it's not really saving that much time. Yeah, you just can flick it on there instead of uh, turning it, but I don't really think it's that much more convenient. I would much rather a high quality piece of glass over my lens than something that is not very good quality, but is convenient. Now this isn't a video just to bag out Freewell and say how shit their filters are and whatever. Their filters are good for the price, but if you can afford a little bit more, go with something more high quality. Do you really need seven filters? Probably not. The only filters that I need are three filters. One is a black Promis filter, and that's kind of, not, not everybody needs a filter of the black Promist. The second filter I need is a variable ND, normally a one to five stop. Anything higher, I don't really need. Third filter I need is a polarizer and a high quality polarizer. When you get into polarization, you can really get into a world of hurt once you're getting into cheap polarizers. So really in my kit, I have three filters. I don't need seven. So the money you're kind of saving, um, work it out, do you really need the seven versus the three, and is it worth paying a little bit more? I think so, absolutely. With the Nissi filters, you know you're not getting an X effect. You know they have high definition optical glass. It's nano coated, it's waterproof, and anti-reflective coating as well, so you know nine times out of 10, you don't even need a lens hood because of that anti-reflective coating on the glass. You're not gonna get really hideous lens flares. What I also love about the Nissi Variable ND, and this is just such a small basic thing, but they have this little screw in lever that you can put on. So you can just grab it and it's there. You don't have to try and fumble with your lens that you might get, you know, fingerprints on it. You know, you can just grab this thing, stay away from the lens and nice and smooth. It's beautiful, I love it. The Nissi filter also has a larger front thread to avoid vignetting on wider lenses, which is awesome. I've never had an issue uh, with vignetting at all with this filter. What's also a really nice touch is you get a really cool uh, little pouch. You get a really nice lens cap as well, which even includes like a little cutout so you can keep your little thready thing on there as well, which is a nice afterthought. But the most important thing you are getting when you buy a Nissi filter is quality, and you know you're getting quality. Have a look at the side-by-sides, there is just no comparison. takeaway for this video is do not compromise quality for convenience. While it might be quicker and more convenient to use something like a magnetic style system, once you get all your footage back into the edit, you're gonna wish you used a quality filter. You won't have to spend as much time in post fixing up the colors, trying to match the colors back to what they should be. You will enjoy the true color your camera is supposed to capture. 
Now, like I said before, I couldn't care less whether you buy a Nisi filter or a Freewell filter or some other dirty, cheap, nasty filter. I just want to try and help you guys capture the best vision you can with your gear and just try and highlight a couple of concerns, you know, that I've found. And to just bring this to your attention that you don't always have to just buy what's trending and what's cool and what, it sounds like a really good idea, but go for quality over convenience every time. And that's it for the video, guys. I hope you did like the video. If you did, please like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one.